Hey there, ever wondered how tech plays a role in wildlife tracking? Let's dive in. First, let's go back a bit. Wildlife tracking isn't new. Indigenous people have been doing it for centuries. They use signs like footprints, droppings, and feeding marks. But it was a tough job. Fast forward to the 1960s, and we see the first radio collars. They revolutionized wildlife tracking. These collars sent signals to a receiver, helping scientists track animals over large distances. But they had limitations. They needed a direct line of sight and had a limited range. Then came GPS collars in the 90s. They gave more accurate data and worked in any weather. GPS collars also allowed scientists to track animals in real time, a huge leap forward. Today, we're using even more advanced tech. Think drones, satellite imagery, and AI. Drones can cover large areas quickly, and they're great for monitoring hard-to-reach places. Satellite imagery gives us a bird's-eye view, helping us track migrations and changes in habitats. AI, on the other hand, helps us analyze data faster and more accurately. For example, AI can identify individual animals and images, which was a time-consuming task before. So where are we heading? The future looks exciting. We're looking at smaller, lighter tracking devices and more advanced AI algorithms. We might even see biologgers that can track an animal's vital signs in real time. Imagine knowing a rhino's heart rate or a bird's body temperature from miles away. But with great power comes great responsibility. We need to use tech ethically and responsibly. That's a quick tour of tech and wildlife tracking. There's so much more to explore. To dive deeper into this topic and learn other cool stuff, log in to giada.ai. See you there.